Hi everyone, welcome to Oscar Outdoors. Join me in this one as I do some woodland camping with English Woodsman and Bushman Mick. I've been a, a little bit late in getting to camp, but as you can see, if you've already watched Dan's, uh, we've sort of knocked this up. Uh, I didn't record knocking it up, but you can clearly see uh, I were in there doing that. So it's like a little bit of a, a rotisserie, a bit of a skewer uh, for cooking on tonight. I'm going to have a fire pit here. Uh, you can see someone's already uh, had a fire here, hence why we've chosen this ground, so we're not causing more damage and scarring again. But yeah, that's the fire pit. We're just collecting some bricks now, as you can see, and we'll get that finished off. So welcome back everyone, as in a little intro tonight I'm camping with English Woodsman and Bushman Mick uh, and I've been here probably about an hour now and uh, I just, I'm, I'm lacking in motivation so I've done some bits with Dan helping him build the uh, fire pit um, but yeah I'm struggling to, <laughs> to get my mojo on this one at the minute it'll come right, it'll come right, it's just I had a pretty busy day at work, um, I had zero sleep last night so yeah, I'm just a little bit tired, I think. Uh, but yeah, I'm just I'm gonna be tonight. I'm gonna be in Snugpack Ionosphere. Uh, probably just somewhere here on me, my left hand side at the minute. It's getting a bit warm in this. We'll take this off. Uh, so yeah, this is uh, like a new grizzly man. It's vortex or vertex suit. So yeah, finally got myself set up. Uh, as you can see, I'm in Snugpack Ionosphere. Um, I have done a full review of this tent and used it a fair few times, but um, I let it out last year and uh, because of COVID and things like that, the person who borrowed it wasn't able to get out camping, so has actually never used it. <laughs> uh, so yeah, about a year they've had it and I've got it back now finally, so I can come and give it a good test in the woods. But yeah, that's the Ionosphere. Uh, let's take you inside. So yeah, inside uh, I've got this is the uh, Softy 9 Hawk and then I've got the Deluxe Aluft Pillow and then the Trekology UL80 Sleep Pad uh, Very very comfortable and it's got these really sort of extra shoulder parts here so when you lay in the middle it sort of pushes up on your, your sides so good for side sleepers apparently I got this again after Dan's review of it but yeah I'm looking forward to uh, trying that out in there Yeah while well, I've just finished setting it up, throw that in there, uh, show you what else I've got, so this is, uh, as I said earlier, this is my new suit from Grizzly Man, uh, a bit too warm to wear the jacket at the minute, but as I say it's still early afternoon, coming up half past five, so still plenty of hours light left, but yeah that's the, I'll leave a link to that in the description, and then obviously this is the vest as well for when it just drops a little bit again uh, grizzly man 
Uh, I have done a review of this one, which I'll leave up here for you. And then for tonight, I've got my uh, snug pack tent boots or snug feet in olive. Again, just hard coated at the bottom. Uh, gives you an option to just nip out for a pee without having to struggle and get your boots on. And then I have some mixed fruit copper bag with me and a couple of cans of just like rum and coke. And then for my tea tonight, I'm gonna have some steak and chicken, some chips and some rice. I'm gonna take that over by the fire in a second. Right, be back. Yeah, this is uh, Dan English Woodman's set up at night. This is his Combat UK sort of patrol army tent. Uh, only cheap, I think, 28 quid, 29 quid. Yeah. Something like that. And then inside he's got his OEX uh, 600 sleeping bag. He's uh, got some new sort of similar boots to mine. You know the uh, Snug Pack Snug Feet. He's got these uh, Sundick branded. Picked up from um, Amazon I believe. And I think he's got, is that the UL80 Matt you've got? No, it's the 140. The UL140 Matt. The old one. Yeah he's got the UL80 Trekology Matt and the Beyond Outdoors mat as well. I think he's expecting the ground to be a bit cold tonight. Yeah, but yeah, that's his uh, simple setup. Slap right in the middle, head near the mesh. Nice. So Dan's just finished making his uh, little snack. Just had some lamb chops. Uh, minted lamb chops. Minted lamb chops done on the uh, fire in the fire pit that we've made. Well. Uh, since uh, I last brought it to the fire pit, we've, or Dan's lowered these down. The main stakes so obviously you can get his meat a little bit closer to the flames right let's go show you mix <laughs> so yeah now we're over at uh, mix setup so this is the Nordic Svalbard uh, as you can see he's got his little brew kit and things just outside we all right going in Mick yeah <laughs> so yeah on the inside a brand familiar to my channel he's got the uh, snug pack base camp um, Roma, he has lent me this um, to do a review on, but he obviously needed it back for tonight. So I will be bringing that to the channel for in the future. Uh, and then he's got here, what's this? Uh, super light, free, carry more sleeping bag, and just his stuff below, and then all the rest of his gear in there. Right, let's not intrude too much. Right, put this back up for him. Don't want any unwanted visitors, does he? He's got enough with me.
I think that is just about done now. So we'll get it off. Enjoy. This is absolutely beautiful. So yeah, chicken seasoned with Cajun spices, steak with steak spice, and the chips with a mix of them both, and obviously some rice as well thrown in. Beautiful. Look at that. Dan's cooking um, like a pork joint on the spit at the minute. And that's obviously going to be supper. So we're uh, looking forward to that as well. Right, see you in a bit. While well, I've been uh, sat over there eating my tea, look what Dan's been doing. You can see now the pork joint on the spit cooking absolutely beautifully. And you can just do it. Oh, Timed that perfectly, did you hear it spit just as I said it? Look at that. Johnny means bigger and better pieces next time now. Does. All this food just will be even bigger and better pieces. Mm. So it's been uh, an hour or two since I brought you back. And um, we just, or Dan, should I say, I just finished making up like a, a pork joint. And it was absolutely exquisite. As you can see, mixer, uh, just sampling a bit as well. But the crackling on it as well, that's my favourite part of a pork joint. And that has been phenomenal.
Well, it's been a, uh, another good night with Dan and Bushman Mick. I think I've had one too many sherbets though. First day, you always blame it on the last one. Never the first one, was it? Or the middle one. It's always the last one. But yeah, another good night. Um, yeah, sailed through all my beers tonight, so. Do apologise. Alright, I better get some sleep. And unless something interesting happens, I'll see you in the morning. Well, good morning, people. It's a little after 7.20. Um, really good, comfortable night's sleep. Uh, really, really warm. In fact, so warm, I uh, got down to my underpants at one point. Nothing on my feet at all. Um, this mat has been brilliant. The curves in it have just sort of cuddled me all night long. I've, I'm a bit of a... A regular me when I'm asleep, so it's left, front, back, right, upside down, hanging from the top. And uh, I've been really comfortable all night long. Um, the pillow, um, again, started off really comfortable with it. I uh, used the band to put it on. Do the band here, goes around your sleep mat, but I think I'm not used to being flat. I've sort of forced it away, but still really, really comfortable. Um, and sleeping bag again have been lovely and toasty warm. Um, well, I have been out and had a pee, and then I couldn't be bothered wriggling back into my sleeping bag, so got that, got the old knees out, and then I've dragged a load of leaves in, so I've got to leaf it out now. But yeah, another comfortable night, another great night. I just think I had far too much drink last night. <laughs> right, back it up. Right, so welcome back everyone. Uh, Dan's just put the kettle on. As you've just seen by that footage, and he bought these uh, from Home Bargains or B&M or some, one of them. Basically what it is, it's a tea bag for coffee. Um, so we're going to try these out. But yeah, I'll show you the back. So yeah, if you want to read that, just hit pause there. But yeah, um, coffee in a bag. Looking forward to them. Right, so what I'm going to do just before it starts boiling properly is I'm going to put the coffee bags in. You won't believe how difficult it is not to say tea bags. Reckon free will be alright? Yeah. Yeah, it's really hard not to say tea bags, you know. <laughs> I can only imagine, but. These are cheese and onion, pork sausages. So yeah, it is a very, very <laughs> sort of a weird name for them, but at least people experimenting with flavours. Nice 
chunk of onion. We'll go with garlic. Stick that inside of the fire. Right. This will stick as breakfast on. As you could do when being flat, really, couldn't we? Right, well that's the end of another camp. As always, leave no trace, you've seen me uh, cleaning up behind us. The uh, fire pit we've uh, dismantled and spread the bricks out completely. Uh, but yeah, uh, end of another video. So if you've watched this far, please let me know in the comments. And if you're not already, please subscribe to the channel by pressing this. And there'll be more videos here for you. See you in a bit.